Hello, welcome to today's movie. In today's movie, we're going to look at the two sample uh, t tests for dependent samples, but this time using SPSS. It's really easy to use, but first we'll look at uh, the previous movie where we had Excel, and we just remind ourselves uh, that uh, we looked at this in a previous movie, and you can see how complicated it actually is to solve the problem whether it's a straightforward hypothesis test like that or we're using the confidence interval method like that or we use the Excel data analysis tool which is quite straightforward of course but what we want to do is we want to look at SPSS and then we'll come back and compare the results so there's the SPSS data, it's exactly the same problem okay so all we need to do is click on analyze uh, click on compare means and then click on paired samples t-test. Okay, now notice here, if I just uh, click on there and just transfer those back. Okay, all we do is we transfer score 1, which is x1, into variable 1. And we can transfer score 2, which is our x2, in our Excel solution to variable 2. If you click on options you'll see we have a 95% confidence interval and that's what we want for this particular problem. So if you just check the Excel uh, solution, you'll see that we're going for 95% confidence, which is a 5% significance level. Now if you want something else, you can just change it here. So we'll leave it there for now, we'll click continue, then click OK. It'll do the solution and it'll transfer it into the output file, which you can then save as a separate file. Now there's the solution. Now if I do a screenshot of that, Okay, give me a second, and then we can compare the solution with Excel. So let's go back to Excel. I'll use the data analysis solution because we know that that, that agrees with what we had before. So here we are. So if we look at this, we see that score 1, the mean was 56.99, which is the same as that. Score 2, the mean was 52.91, which is the same as that. There's a difference, but is it a statistical difference? Okay, so you can see it gives you other data like the standard deviation and the standard error of the mean. It gives you colorations between the two variables as well. But also what we want is these are the numbers that we want. Okay, so you can see that score 1 minus score 2, the average value is 4.07. So if you look uh, at the uh, uh, Excel solution, so I think what I'll do is I'll um, just cut that out and I'll transfer it over to here. Okay. Okay, so you can see here that the mean difference between score 1 and score 2 is 4.07444, which is the same as that number there. Yeah? And you've got the standard deviation, which is 15.29165, which is the same as that number there. Okay, it gives us the standard error of the mean, which I haven't calculated, but you can calculate that quite easily because it's just SD divided by the square root of n. Okay, it gives you the lower, uh, it gives you the confidence interval, okay, which is minus 0.51, which is there, and the upper confidence is 8.66, and it also gives you the t-value, which is 1.787, which is the same as that number. It gives you the degrees of freedom, which is the same as that number, and it gives you the sig two-till, which is the two-till p-value as 0.081, which is the same as that number. So you can see that the SPSS solution gives you the same values, but it's a lot easier to use. So my recommendation would be, if I just go back to here, just paste that in there for you, would be, if you're gonna do a two, t if you're gonna do a t-test, uh, then, and it's, um, it's a two sample t-test, then I would just use the Excel data analysis tool or use SPSS. But you can do it from first principles using the equations and using the Excel functions. But you can see you get exactly the same results. So if you look here, so there's, there's the p-value. Okay, and there's our p-value. So all we need to do is say, well, look, we have a two-tailed test. The significance level is 5%, which is 0.05. That value, 0.081, is larger than 0.05. Therefore, we accept the null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis says that there's no difference in the between the two scores. Okay, so SPSS is very easy to use. Okay, bye for now.